What is going on everyone, Matesh here, and today I want to talk about a feature that's been available on Android for a little bit, but it should at this point be rolled out to actually everyone now, and it is called Nearby Share, and it is a way to share files locally with people around you really, really fast. And this is much better than like sending things over Bluetooth or email or whatever we used to be in the past. And it's very much like iOS's AirDrop. So today I'm going to show you guys how to set it up and how to use it. Basically, it's very simple. So let's just get into it. So this phone, I have not set up nearby share yet. This is the LG Velvet, which I will have videos coming up on soon. So make sure you guys subscribe so you guys don't miss those. Okay, so the easiest way to set up nearby share is by actually just trying to share something. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and open up photos and I already had a picture loaded up here. And we're gonna hit share and then you can see nearby shares out there, but most people won't see it there if you have never used it before. Instead, if you hit more, uh, then you will just have to scroll down until you see the appropriate one, which right there is nearby share. And there, once you click on it, the first time you do this, it'll ask you for to name the device uh, or a little picture of yourself or whatever it is and what kind of account you want associated. And then how you want your device visibility, whether you want all contacts, some contacts are hidden. So yeah, I'll just leave it as it is and just hit turn on. And then there you go, it is on. And then it sees my other phone right here, Matesha's phone. I probably should have named it better than that, but it'll show up right there. And then also on a nearby phone, I'll get a notification like that to become visible so that they can see me and share with me. So once I hit this on the other device, they'll get a little thing shortly. Oh, that is slow. So once you hit send, it should show up on the other one. Uh, live demos always fail, right? Okay, let's back out of this. Not sure what happened in this instance. Tap to become visible. I'm there. All right, something like, seems like something. Okay, so you hit nearby share, and then you see the phone right there. Click on it, and then right there. So you guys get a little message. If you're the one receiving it, you can hit either hit accept or decline. I'm gonna go ahead and accept it. And uh, as you guys can see, there it is. There's a picture on this phone. So yeah, that's all it is to it if you want to share anything. So let's say I wanna share something from here over to the other phone, and let's just, let's pick something that's, uh, let's, pick a, let's pick a YouTube video. So let's say I want to share this video from Scott DeWaz. Hit share, and once again, you can just hit nearby, and it's basically you're just sending a link to somebody now. So LG Velvet, uh, it'll come up here, and accept, and bam, hey, it opens up. Opens up the app right there. So you can share basically anything that's available for sharing to another phone, but just by hitting the share button and hitting nearby share. So this is a great way to share something locally with your friends or wherever you are. Like if you took a picture and you want to send it over to somebody that has another Android phone, this is such an easy way to do it. Now, obviously it's not perfect. There are sometimes hiccups. Uh, you do need to have uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and location turned on so it works properly, but otherwise, it's pretty much seamless. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I just want to show you guys a cool little feature that you guys should definitely know about in case you are looking to share something with people nearby. And yeah, with that, that's pretty much it for the video. Like this one if you liked it, subscribe if you guys loved it, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.